All right, Pisces, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology forecast for January 11th through the 17th of 2016. My name is Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to this type of astrology, be sure to check the description down below because the signs are different. All right, Pisces, so this week, much easier to work with, I would say, than last week with all those plants going retrograde, all that transformational energy with Pluto. This week, you can see a lot of trines. Uh, in the sky, which makes it very supportive, specifically to whatever's been transforming or shifting uh, from last week. And a lot of that and what's still unfolding for you as I think involving that career, maybe your legacy or public image in some sense, which is going through a reflection right now with Mercury retrograde. But it's a great time to pursue a lot of these uh, big picture plans or career plans or whatever it is. Uh, this week with all these supportive aspects up to it and uh, this early phase of the lunar cycle is about cultivating it but again in a way that you're being adaptive and learning and being open to you know trying new things with it so in that context here on Tuesday going into Wednesday Venus does try and up to Uranus so it could be quite exciting maybe with your communications maybe with the deeper aspects of life but it's all from this enjoyment that I think you could have or you have had uh, having here in uh, your ninth house of expanding your horizons, of enjoying philosophy, spirituality, though although has been quite serious with Saturn, making sure your philosophy and your life path and all these expansive things are real and are grounded, with Venus here lately, it has been lifting that up and you've been enjoying that, I think. Maybe not so much last week because Venus was over Saturn, but definitely this week with that separation from Saturn. So uh, yeah, enjoying anything that you would consider expansive and I think a lot of that you'll just find quite exciting and this is really I think through you being yourself you know Uranus has been helping you break free and revolutionize your true self with his transit of your first house and all of that can be quite supportive maybe even with relationships uh, this early part of the week now with Wednesday and Thursday we do have the Sun trining up to Jupiter and the North Node so again that supportive energy uh, coming in and here it's from specifically these unfoldments of your life path which are shifting from where I think it has been more focused on relationships for about the past two two and a half years now is shifting into the daily activities where you can now for the next two years put in that self-improvement put in that work um, you know improve self improve your craft improve your work these kinds of things which has been quite uplifting I would say generally for all of you with Jupiter transiting that sixth or at the very least you're learning more about self-improvement and your work so uh, very nice here and I think that's a good area to shift and to work on if you know you're I mean it's just a good week to be moving forward with that stuff anyways and it could come quite natural but um, in either case yeah a good area to focus on uh, relating to the daily activities and how that can really support you with your career because you know when you're time's good your energy's good from taking care of your you know routine or whatever it really does support uh, these areas of life which for you could really be that uh, career or big picture stuff now as we go into Thursday mercury retrograde is going to go over the Sun so there's quite the passion and maybe even some passion idea or something that you're reflecting on or coming into the uh, picture with involving that tenth house of career or whatnot so it's good to see that and to see that passion and to put energy into it but again in that adaptive way and you do want to bring that extra attention to uh, to it and whatever it is you're expressing with mercury retrograde but still nonetheless you could be seeing um, a lot of insights about that area of your life and the other thing too is that the sun's going to be shining on the mercury who rules your fourth and your seventh so you could be gaining some insights there could be some new beginnings around relationships and even around uh, home, family, and health this middle part of the week. And again, that's trining and supporting these life path shifts into the self-improvement sector. So that's the work week, um, as they call it. And then as we go into the weekend, we have Mars trining up to your uh, modern-day ruler, Neptune. So here there is this drive and motivation that I think you guys will have about how it's been this importance of having faith and trust, maybe working behind the scenes. It's this nice yin-yang sort of balance between the ambitious and the intuitive and relaxing energies of life. Maybe for you specifically involving relationships that I think you probably have been more motivated towards, more driven or more assertive with over the past couple months, but it, it tends to loosen it up, tends to make it much more you know easygoing with those relationships uh, since Mars has been in Virgo. 
but uh, a great weekend for that stuff. And I think you can find whether it's the relationships easy going, maybe it's getting that alone time, and maybe it's just both, kind of a blend of both in that regards. Now, one thing I want to say too is that Venus is going to be squaring up to that Jupiter North Node conjunction. So here with the um, life path shifts, it's about integrating it going into next week. Integrating, I think, your communication and those deeper aspects and really this expansive view which you're building, you know, your philosophy or your life path or whatever it is that you can really, you know, enjoy this week and through that enjoyment, you know, bring it into the routine. So it could be that you're enjoying philosophy and through that philosophy you're learning about uh, self-improvement or self-help or whatever it might be or your work. And so it could be feeling quite good with a trine up to, or excuse me, a square up to Venus from your ruler Jupiter, but it's all about integration. So with whatever excitements or whatever insights you get here in regards to that uh, this weekend, integrating it, taking it nice and slow and bridging the gap as you go into next week with that. All right, so Pisces, have a great week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.